Okay, y'all, one more. I'm just going to have to show you this. Look at that huge mirror. Don't look at the person in it. This is the entryway of residence number two. Now, I'm not going to talk a lot in this video. I'm just going to show it to you, okay? Wine cellar. Hmm. I'm trying not to um, pan too quickly. Now that's not my kind of art right there. Now this looks like it's the master and it's downstairs. Now, if you have to have a two-story house, I would want the master to be downstairs. Sorry, y'all can hear my flip-flops and tripping and banging into stuff. Again, you could have a meeting in that shower. Let's see. Closets are not all that interesting. Now look at this. Optional. So, if you wanted to have a washer and dryer in your bathroom. I guess that would be an option. But I'm telling y'all, I had an upstairs laundry room before and I didn't like it. Now, you could easily fit two people in there, y'all. Wink, wink. <laughs> Let's see, what have we got? Nice little linen closet. Anyway, I had an upstairs laundry. In fact, it was in my last husband and my house. It was a two-story. Now, when I'm cooking or cleaning the downstairs, that's when I want to be doing laundry. See what I mean about the windows, how much it adds I don't know, it just makes windows look finished. I love it. Now see that brown? That doesn't really appeal to me very much. Now Maureen and I used to go through models and we would look at things and then we would go home and try to replicate them. It was a lot of fun. We did decorating on the cheap. Anyway, I would not want to have a laundry in my bathroom, I don't think. But better than upstairs, that's for sure. Now, one thing that I always, always needed to have, and that was a window over the kitchen sink. That's just my preference, though, y'all. Look at all these cabinets. Now, in our last house, I actually had a cabinet or two that didn't have anything in it. So now, let's see here. This is what they call the powder room. Don't ask me why. But this is so people don't have to go in your private space. Don't care for those pedestal sinks. There's no storage there. They're pretty, but where are you going to put all that toilet paper? Hmm. That's nice. No blinds on that window. I'm sure you'd want some, though, because who wants anybody peeking in while you're going to the potty? 
Look at that. I know you men would love that. That's not my thing. Now, these stairs are carpeted, y'all. And look at all of this. All that dusting. I hate to dust. I love to vacuum, but I never liked vacuuming the stairs. It's just kind of unsanitary. You have to do it all the time, get in all those little cracks and crevices. That's why in our last house, I had two vacuum cleaners. I know. Excessive, huh? Now, here's a den up here. Awesome. Pretty. Oh, there's the pool table out there on the balcony. Now, that's nice. Not the pool table, but the balcony. Look at that view, y'all. And there won't be anything built over there for a long time. At least, I don't think so. Isn't that a gorgeous view? I love it. These folks might be alcoholics. I've got a lot of places for booze in this house. Let me see if I can open this door. Yeah. And there's the other end. For those of you who like to play pool, which I do not, there we go. I'll walk a little faster. I'm taking too long. Check that out. You could make that yourself for very little money. You might have to sand rust off of those cogs. Okay, so this house has two laundry rooms, y'all. Give me a break. Goodness gracious. Look at these little polka dot curtains, y'all. Oh, I love this room. Look at that. Oh, those are so cute. And you know, you can make really cute curtains out of sheets. But it's hard to find really pretty sheets anymore, or at least that's what I think. These little built-ins are so cute. Now, this could be a girl's or a boy's room with a few minor changes. I love that velvet headboard. Look at that big old clock over there. What's not to love except that furry little chair? Okay. Let's see, what else have we got? Big bathroom, another coffin size tub. Here we go, more cute little curtains. So easy to make, you guys. But I tell you, that little ball pom-pom trim, that stuff's expensive. Here we go, look how cute. I think they have two girls in this family. Y'all, I can't tell you how much I love all this white. Check that out. I'm sorry, guys. I know you're not loving this. But everything can't just be about y'all. Let's see what's in here. Now, this person has their own bathroom. Love it. This is a guy's room. Check this out. Ooh, no curtains for him. Check this stuff out, y'all. Oh, I, what I was trying to tell y'all a while ago and I forgot is that when they close out the models, or it used to be this way, they would sell all this furniture and these little gizmos. They would sell all this, and the public could go and buy it. Now, sometimes you would go right to the model and buy it, and then sometimes, now see, this is bedroom five with optional bath four. So, when you get one of these houses, they're pretty basic, and whatever you add cost you a bundle. But people are so consumed with just having material things that they go way in over their head most of the time. 
into debt. Now, I love that back wall. It looks like the old-timey clapboard. Of course, I'd have to paint that white. Curtains. They look so nice. Big lamps. Meeting time. Oh, Lord, y'all. If you can afford all of this, I bet you could live in half the size and then build some homeless people some little shelters with what was left over. Anyway, that's it for this one. I love y'all, and thanks for watching. Do something fun today. Bye now.